Hello, my name is Conway and welcome to this short video on gut health plans. So anyone looking to get any form of health or nutrition advice will know the challenges of finding good quality advice. As science progresses, so do third party laboratories and their sales tactics in trying to extract your cash in promise of fast results to fix any of your health issues. So in this video, we'll critically look at one particular health trend called the gut health plan that is currently gaining popularity. So what is it? Gut health plans claim to be able to fix or reset your gut health and claim to be simple, evidence-based, and they offer the promise of a hassle-free, personalised nutrition plan as an alternative to traditional diet and exercise-based therapies that are driven by dietitians and nutritional professionals. And what will it cost you? Just a sample of your poo and check for around $200. So let's unpack this. What are they referring to when they talk about gut health and possibly tinkering with the delicate inner environment of your gut? Well, your internal gut environment is a home to trillions of microbes consisting mainly of bacteria, viruses, and archaea. Their role in your guts is to metabolize undigested food components that make it through to your large intestines. Now, your, your gut microbiome is unique to you and is shaped by your genetics, environment, and diet. Occasionally, your gut microbiome will be thrown out of whack and will not function as intended. Now this is referred to as dysbiosis and can be pretty unpleasant. So dysbiosis commonly occurs after antibiotics or about a food poisoning and it allows invading bacteria to set up shop and cause problems. This will be typically self-corrected, but it can take a while to do so. So maybe this is you and you're looking at the gut health plan as the answer to your gut or weight problems and you're looking to reset your gut. But wait, before you commit to an expensive and slightly unpleasant task, you should take a step back and see what's really on offer. So this plan has several red flags consistent with third party companies uh, offering up simple solutions to what are complex issues. Firstly, this plan targets those struggling with weight control and the offer of a simple solution is made very clear. They quote that this is, the test is based on breaking scientific research but they fall short of providing any evidence. Now, the test also claims to be simple. Whilst the actual task may well be simple, the same cannot be said for the human nutrition or gut physiology. Many factors affect our overall gut health and nutrition status. And uh, down the bottom here, we have a bold statement. It refers to their own proprietary research claiming that the average customer loses 20 kilograms over 28 days. This is an extraordinary claim and should be backed with evidence and viewed with skepticism. Again, we see no link to any evidence. And is losing 20 kilograms in a month really healthy? Hmm, sounds far-fetched to me. The overall message that the answer to your gut and weight problems is simple to fix is a gross misinterpretation of the scientific literature and knowledge to date. But wait, there is more. The rear of this fly has another go at convincing you that the process is so simple and very little work is needed by the user to achieve great results. And to top it off, you could potentially save $298 and you'll get a personalized nutrition plan that's just for you. So what is the truth here? Well, there is plenty of evidence that what we eat will affect our gut microbes and the home that they live in. However, all good quality peer reviewed studies will point out that diet is only one piece of the puzzle that is known as gut health. Well, okay, what about personalized nutrition? Well, there is uh, plenty of discussion about personalized nutrition, and this is the eventual goal of nutritional science, to be able to offer each of us the opportunity to have a personal nutritional profile that will promote optimal health. However, again, our diet is but one part of the picture. Genetics, exercise, environment, and even how you were born all play a role in determining what we should eat or can eat. All right, what about weight loss? Well, weight loss is a huge market. So any promise of a fast and simple solution will be of interest to anyone that's currently battling with a weight problem. Science in this instance has come up with some exciting and valid results. Several bacterial species have been isolated and implicated in affecting our weight and metabolism. But with the average gut microbiome containing between 500 and 1,000 different microbe species, there's still a lot of work to be done in identifying all the bacterial players in this complex topic. So the truth is, what is currently known versus what is still to be discovered pales in comparison. 
think of an iceberg here and you'll be on the right track. Understanding the long-term effects of changing our gut microbiome is still being studied. Making claims that science is the answers now is quite simply misinformation and warrants caution. Diet is one of the most significant influences of what bacteria thrive in their guts, but is only one piece of the larger field of gut health. In closing, personalised nutrition may one day become a reality and has the power to revolutionise healthcare. However, what is known to science in 2021 is still a long way from making this a reality. Our quest to define our diet and health as a simple test remains elusive, but science is working hard to find it. And as Richard Carlson once said, remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Thank you.